That was the last time I ever went to that Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah. That Tommy. I don't know what we should do with him. I'm home. Tommy, is that you? Yeah. We need to come in here and talk to you. Okay. I heard you were in some trouble at school today. I don't know what you're talking about. Get in here. Tommy, we need to look through your backpack. Let me see your backpack, son. Your mother and I have been worried sick about you ever since we got that call from your teacher, Mrs. Trollbottom. Uh, she's mean. Hey. She doesn't know what she's talking hey, it about. It doesn't matter. What she is this? This is not a no. problem. What are you it's doing? It's mine! No, Put it back no, in there! No, son. No! This, this is what we want to talk to you about. It's my. It's Ferguson! The hippo! Hippo Ferguson! Hippo Ferguson does not belong at school. He's. Your pet lobster does not belong at school. He's. Why did you bring your pet lobster to school? It was show and tell day, and I wanted to impress Sally. Honey, can you believe this? Can you believe this? You wanted to impress Sally with a lobster? Do you understand she, why she, you don't bring a lobster to school? No! You don't bring lobster to school because the child molesters will get you. Son, child molesters are a very real threat and they love lobster. Don't you understand? I, when you have a lobster in your backpack, they can get a two for one. A little boy and a delicious dinner. No one would want to eat Hippo Ferguson. He's such a nice guy. Hippo Ferguson may seem nice, but he is damn tasty, son. No! Listen. No! Listen. I talked to your teacher. We had a good conversation. We decided if you bring in this lobster to school again, we're going to kill it. We're going to kill your lobster. It's unfair! We're going to kill Hippo Ferguson. I want to I wanna take him to school again. He's my lobster. He's this my lobster. serious. There are certain things that belong at school. A frisbee does not belong at no. school. A pen belongs at school. A protractor belongs at school. Is a lobster does thing. not belong at school. This is unfair! Tommy, go to your room. You need to think about what you've done. Yeah, yeah. Lobsters are serious business. <sighs> what are we gonna do with that boy, honey? I thought having children would be a pleasant life experience, but no, they bring their lobsters to school. You need to play me a song, honey. I need to calm down. My nerves are shot. Hola, I'm Pa from Tommy and Friends, and I'm here to tell you about Don Pablo, the chip. Back in the summer of 69, those were free real in time. We had three children to prove it. It's all because of Don Pablo. Don Pablo's, it's good in a bowl, but it's better out of the bag. <laughs> so unfair, monkey. They took my lobster. Man, Schnookums, Hippo and I had such good times. Like the time we went out, we went out in the woods and we found the mystical land of Narnia. And we went in there and we killed, we killed a bunch of bunny rabbits and then we... Then we took him home and we skinned him. You know what? I gotta go get Hippo back! What is that? Gotta find Hippo. Ding dong ditch. Ding dong ditch. Those dang Jehovos must be the ghost of Don Pablo.
recognize me. I'm Ma from Tommy and Friends. And this is Ma's used car lot, where we're having the clean sweep sales event all this month of March. So you like Hondas? Do you like cars in blue and green and red? We got vans, we got trucks, we got ice cream trucks, all with no financing until your grandfather dies. Take this beautiful Toyota, my grandma drove it to the bank two times a week, and it's only got five miles on it. Yeah, you better believe it. It's got no financing, no down payments, and it's beautiful on the inside. It comes with seat warmers. I know you love a warm butt, so come to Ma's used car lot today. Yeah!